Hi folks, welcome to the Sweetwater YouTube channel. My name is Lee Ray from Laney Amplification and I'm joined today by the man himself, Mr. James Laney. Hello. Welcome James. And we are going to be talking today about the Laney Ironheart range and in particular the brand new 60 watt pedal amp, the IRF Loud pedal. Okay, so what, we, what have we got here, James? We've got an Ironheart head. Yep, Ironheart head. 120 head with yeah. the uh, GS412IA cabinet that goes with it. So yeah. before we get on to the awesome loud pedal, give us a backstory behind Ironheart. So we've been making Ironheart for now more than 10 years. Um, we really decided we wanted to have a super high gain, super versatile, you know, powerhouse of an amplifier in our product range, and, and we came up with the Ironheart series. Um, it's lots and lots of things. It's very, very versatile. Um, you have a clean channel, which is probably the cleanest clean channel on, on any of our amps, massive amount of headroom. You have a rhythm channel that goes from kind of bluesy rhythm all the way through to some pretty high gain lead sounds. Then on top, you can switch up to another lead channel, which goes even more kind of full high gain, full chug. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and also there is a pre-boost, which basically is hitting the front end of the amplifier, which means at any point in any of those three channel stages, you can boost it, which and that, is, and that's could be a solo boost. Yeah, that's foot switchable, yeah. of course. There's a, there's a four way foot switch that comes with the product, switches channels, switches boost, switches reverb as well. And then over on the master section, you have the dynamic control, which is controlling the, effectively the speaker resonance, if you like, the interaction between the output stage and the loudspeakers. You have a master tone control, which is kind of like a, a, a tone control on your guitar might work. It's like overall tone. Yeah. So that would be pretty cool if you've got your EQ set up at, uh, at home or with your band and you've got the EQ set with your pedal board. You know, there's a lot of scope for changing the EQ on these, a push-pull uh, cue, so you can really, really change the tone. You get all that perfect, and then you get to, uh, you know, your gig, and it's uh, an empty room to start with, and you're, you're rehearsing, and maybe it's a bit too bright, so you can roll the tone back. And as the room fills up, darkens the tone of everything in the room, you could roll the tone up. Correct. Without That's changing, exactly it. Without so don't the touch anything else. Oh, I need a bit more top end. Just roll the tone up. Yeah, mm, a bit sure. darker. Just roll it back. Um, it works on the output stage of the amplifier on the back yep. end of the, of, of the signal path. Uh, and then you have reverb, which is uh, foot switchable, um, and also very important on the, on the right hand side here, the watts control, which is a, a very watts that you can roll all the way down from less than one watt all the way up to the full 120 watts uh, yeah. in, in this case. So we've got it. I don't know. Maybe. 20 watts, maybe yeah, 15, 20 yeah, watts yeah, in here, yeah, so we don't yeah. get blown away. Uh, we've just got it, one of, the, uh, one of the, the drivers mic'd up here so you can check it out. We're going to leave that in position because what we're going to try to do is give you just a quick flavour of what this sounds like and then we're going to do the same thing again as after we've spoken a little bit about the, the specifications of the loud pedal. So this configuration then, you've got a, you've got a clean with uh, a shared EQ between the clean and rhythm, and then you can switch to the lead tone Correct. here. And that's sort of echoed throughout all of the... Yeah. All of the... Uh, yeah. uh, all the Ironheart, Ironheart products Heart have that multi-channel plus a boost functionality. Yeah. And they've got some pretty versatile features on the, on the back as well, haven't they? Correct. Yeah, there's a direct out with speaker emulation on, on the Ironheart heads and the Ironheart 30 combo in the range. Yeah. Um, yeah. And there's also the Ironheart Studio. We don't have one of those here today, but that also has what we call Tube USB on it. Yeah. which is sending the full tube signal from the back end of the amplifier and it's sending two channels, it's sending the tube sound but also a completely dry signal. So you can reamp And it. that could be reamped yeah. as well. So you could absolutely nail the best take ever and then hate your tone so you could go back and reamp it and spend a bit yeah. more time getting Getting that so that the whole Ironheart thing was, let's just really throw the kitchen sink at this product. Let's right. have like every <laughs> possible thing. So whilst it's got, it's got obviously a, a vibe about it that's heavy and, uh, and metal, you, you could get great jazz tones from this out. Yeah, yeah. Well, Martin Miller, he's Correct. has used it many times for playing jazz. Yeah. You know, looking for that clean yeah. tone. I mean, you've got players that aren't necessarily known for playing metal using Ironheart as yeah. well, like Larry Basilio. Yeah, but also there are metal players oh, as well. Yeah. When we first released this product, with the, the real poster boys for this were Killswitch Engage, so that's a pretty heavy sound. Yeah, yeah. There's a there's a whole myriad of different players. Rob Holiday from the Prodigies used this a lot for a lot of the live Prodigy uh, gigs. Yeah. Um, a bunch of different players, guitar virtuosos, and the sort of band players. And, well. and currently we've got Vernon Reed. 
Vernon on Reed tour, from Living Colour. Yeah. If you're if you're watching this in 2023, could be in the future, but right now on tour supporting uh, Extreme. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so how did we get then from these all tube heads to what this is, James? Well, if it's anything like me, I've got a touch of the case of the music industry bad back, and I've decided <laughs> that actually it'd be quite nice to not always carry something quite so heavy around. Yeah. So what we were trying to do is, is get the essence of that Ironheart concept, and what we did is we created something called the Ironheart Foundry Series. So we're melting down the Ironheart amplifier, uh, and we're casting it in a miniaturized version, the Ironheart Foundry Loud Pedal. Why is it called a loud pedal, Lee? I, I have no idea. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's called a loud pedal because it's quite loud. Yeah. Inside this tiny little box, we have a 60 watt amplifier. Amazing. Um, so you could run it actually purely as, 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 a, as a boost pedal. You could run it direct to a DAW or front of house through the, through the DI out. You can connect it to a loudspeaker, which we'll do in a short while. You could also use it with a pair of headphones just backstage or on a tour bus or, or, or you know, for rehearsal purposes. So when you're backing track into it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Sort of so it's, it's very, very versatile. Um, if you were looking for a, a really simple fly rig solution, you could pop one of those on a board, maybe with a delay pedal, uh, and you could tour the world. Yeah, amazing. And it's got, uh, so we've got the ability to switch between two channels, right? Correct, um, yeah. First channel has this kind of little toggle switch, which allows you to probably change the nature of the gain. Uh, the second channel has another toggle switch which allows you to change the nature of the EQ for that channel. Correct. Yeah. And then they both share this uh, three band tone stack and then you've got the all important boost yeah. feature, yeah. big red dial, uh, which is obviously a feature of the original yeah. Ironheart. It's bringing through those, those, uh, those principles of Ironheart that says you've got to have multi-channel, you've got to have flexibility, you've got to be able to get a really clean, clean sound. Also those in-between tones and obviously your searing lead tones as well. Yeah. And you've also got the boost feature. So there's, it's carrying a lot of the ethos of this product down into this compact format. Yeah, and that's the kind of reason behind the, the term foundry. Foundry, yeah. yeah. Melted yeah. it down and recast it, it, in, it a, in, a, in a smaller a portable, format. Portable, um, super affordable, compact solution exactly exactly okay right well let's do some playing then and just to give you folks the a, a chance to kind of rewind watch this over and over again we'll give you a couple of tones from the from the tube head and then we'll give you some tones from the, the loud pedal and you can kind of see how they differ and how they're similar mm -hmm. uh, and make up your own minds so we're going to start with some clean tones lee right yeah so we're just over here on the clean channel pretty much flat eq a uh, bit of reverb are you going to kick in the boost at some point yeah maybe? i can do yeah okay there we go then. Okay, so let's check out some more dirty, uh, <laughs> dirty tones. So we're going to go over to the to the rhythm setting on the bottom channel. Right? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, so that was rhythm, right? And then there's yep. a there's a lead channel. Yep. So we'll switch over to the lead channel now, which is on the top here. Okay. I suppose I should do some shredding on the yeah. lead channel. <laughs> So that's some playing, that's a few examples on the, on the head. Now we're gonna just take a moment to switch over to the loud pedal and we'll be right back with you. Okay, so now we've hooked up the loud pedal. I'm gonna try and play something similar just so you've got something to reference it by. We are gonna start with the clean channel, then I'll try and kick in the boost. And then we'll switch over to channel two. Uh, I'll try and give you some rhythm tones and then we'll crank the gain all the way up uh, to give you some lead tones as well. Sure. Okay, so let's give that a shot, here we go. Okay, 
Okay, let's switch the boost in there. Super lead sound. cool. Yeah, lead sound. So this is more of a kind of rhythm tone we've got dialed in. And I was playing something similar to this, I think. Okay, so let's dime the gain. Turn the volume down so we don't kill everybody. And do a bit of shred, I suppose. <laughs> That sounds super close to yep. to the to the head. They sound pretty similar, yeah. and obviously we're we're at pretty pretty low volumes in here. But what you're not really able to tell in the situation is that, is that that really could go to gig volumes against a drummer, couldn't it? Yeah, know? absolutely. I mean, we had some reverb going on, on that's built into the to the heads, but you've got a great effects loop. Yep. So you know you could run some delay and and some verb and time and modulation stuff into into the effects loop there. Yeah, so it's, it's really the concept is to get the super, super, super compact format, goes on a board, use the effects loop, maybe another pedal in front, something this big, tour the world. Yeah. Why is it called a loud pedal, Lee? Because it's really loud. Yeah, you've learned <laughs> something, amazing. So there we are, folks, that's the Laney Ironheart IRF loud pedal. If you've got any questions at all, please get in touch with your Sweetwater sales engineer and they'll be able to help you. They'll be more than happy to. So until next time, thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves.